In this video, we're going to talk about how to take long data and convert it into wide data using the function pivot wider. Now, as always, I tell people to install and then call the package tidyverse. That's actually a collection of packages and it expands the vocabulary that you can use within R. An absolute must. Next, just to let you know, I only use data that you can access at home. So everything I do in this tutorial, you can replicate at home. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And finally, just note that I use very big text when I write the code on the screen, and that's so that you can watch this video on your phone. So let's get into it. Boom shakalaka. If you want to learn about R programming, then you have come to the right place. On this YouTube channel, we're creating R programming videos on everything. Firstly, we're going to be looking at the function pivot wider. If you push question mark pivot wider, control enter, you're going to see at the bottom right hand corner all of the documentation around that function. Next, we're going to be looking at the data set orange with a capital O, question mark orange, control enter, you can see all of the documentation around that data set. It's built into R and you've got it on your computer right now. Okay, let's take a look at the data set. View orange, that's going to give you the data set up here and have a look at what we've got here. We've got trees and each tree there's one two three four five six trees and for each tree we've got multiple observations right and each observation co corresponds to a particular age and for each age we've got a circumference of the tree now you'll notice that tree one we've got age 118 days 484 days we've got the same time frames for tree two 118 days 484 days that's very important we want to change this data set to look from the like this so that it looks like this where for each row, we've now just got the tree once. We've converted all of the ages into column names and we've taken all of the circumference values and we've made them the cells there within. All right, so we've taken all of the ages and we've turned them into column names and we've taken all of these circumferences that map out against these ages for these trees and we've popped them into these cells. How do we do that? Stick around, I'm gonna show you exactly how. A super quick interruption to this video to say thanks to Nested Knowledge. Nested Knowledge sponsor this channel and I absolutely love them. Nested Knowledge is an online platform that you can use to do literature review and systematic literature review. And what I love about this platform is that I'm using it for the entire process, beginning to end, all the way from search, screening, tagging, extraction, all the way through to actually writing the manuscript, creating a living document online. And I've got my entire team using it, so we collaborate, different people doing different parts of the process. I used to hate LitReview, now I love it. If you want to love LitReview, check out Nested Knowledge, click on the link in the description below. And without further ado, on with the video. First thing, when I'm dealing with any data set, it's quite useful to do names, the function names and oranges, that's just going to give you, and if we have a look down here, the names of all of the variables, that's kind of useful to know you want to get the spelling right as you do your coding. Next thing, I want to, this is the code that we're going to use right here. Okay. Orange, that's our data set. And then, right, this is a pipe operator. You should know how to use pipe operators by right now. It's part of using the tidyverse. Orange, and then we're piping orange into, and orange becomes the first argument for the function in the next line. Pivot wider, this is the function we're trying to learn how to use today. Now, here's where things get useful and interesting. Look at what we've got here. Okay, remember we said we want to take the names and we want to use them, we want to take age and we want to use it to create the new column names, right? So the first argument for pivot wider is names from equals age, simple. Next, we want to take the values from circumference and stick them into the cells. So the next argument in the pivot wider function is values from circumference, right? And then I'm saying, and then view and boom shakalaka, that's what it looks like. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now stick around and I want you to watch the next video because the next video is going to be how to do the exact opposite, right? How to take a wide data frame and turn it into a long data frame. Okay, so click on the link on the screen right now. See you there.